cold recharge. With low temperatures, the charging process becomes complicated. It is not enough to drive to a charging point, park and connect the charger to the car. In these conditions, the battery needs to reach a certain temperature for the charging process to begin. If this optimal temperature is not reached, you must wait until the vehicle's thermal management system prepares it for charging. In the same way that if it is very hot, recharging will not be as fast as it could be with a milder temperature. If it is too cold, you will probably have to wait until the battery reaches the minimum temperature and the charging process begins. Some models, such as Tesla's, are capable of preparing the battery for recharging while driving to a brand supercharger. Simply select it as a destination in the navigator and the car will increase the battery temperature so that, upon arrival, the charging process can begin without wasting time. In other cars, such as the Nissan LEAF, the thermal regulation is only activated below minus 20 degrees Celsius, but the Tesla does not need to go to that extreme and is capable of activating the thermal regulation even if the car is off, without the need to be plugged in. The specialist in electric car chargers Wallbox warns of how dangerous it can be for the battery to fall below 20% in these conditions. To be safe in winter, never let the battery level drop below 20%. To charge in severe cold weather, the vehicle will need a reserve of energy to warm up and be ready. Subscribe to the Fleet Management channel. Your subscription is a great support to continue making new videos. Subscribe. 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 Cold recharge. The consulting firm Recurrent Auto has carried out a study to find out how much the recharge rate is reduced with cold temperatures. It has studied 224,066 charges of the Tesla Model 3 carried out in the United States, excluding the time to precondition the battery to the recharging temperature. The lower the temperature, the lower the charging rate. The decrease in the loading rate with temperature is very smooth, but between the highest and lowest temperatures in the study, it is significant. Learn about our fleet management consulting and training services. Reduce costs and optimize fleet management activities. We electrify your fleet of vehicles. We carry out the electrification plan until its implementation, known as Real Case is Oslo. Oslo, the capital of Norway, made a large investment in electric buses in 2023. However, some of these electric buses, used on Oslo's busiest routes, cannot withstand 12 degrees Celsius below zero. Oslo received 183 Solaris brand electric buses in April after signing their purchase in 2022 in a contract worth 100 million euros. These electric buses are intended for Oslo's busiest routes, transporting almost 150,000 people a day. These buses, with a 520 kilowatt hours battery, were equipped with a special Scandinavian thermal insulation package consisting, among other things, of additional insulation of the passenger compartment, double glazed windows, as well as heating mats installed on the floor in the loading area, the entrance doors. The, however, there is no talk of greater insulation of the battery or the presence of a heat pump, something that allows the autonomy of electric cars to be preserved in cold climates. The bus's energy consumption skyrockets due to the need to heat the cabin, reducing the vehicle's autonomy. Due to the low temperatures, several buses saw their departures cancelled and put out of service during the morning rush hour in Oslo. One of the direct consequences, in addition to the delays it causes for all its users, has been to unleash a small chaos in local traffic. According to Ruta, who manages public transport in Oslo, the cancelled departures were due to the fact that the Solaris electric buses cannot withstand the cold. In 2019, BYD electric buses in Indianapolis, where it can reach 10 degrees Celsius in January, had the same problem. The solution then proposed by BYD was to install new charging points on the routes. In the end, the solution in these buses will have to be the same as in passenger cars, equipping them with heat pump air conditioning. 
or opt for the BYD solution in Indianapolis, fast charges en route with 10-minute stops so that they can continue with their work with the increase in costs. Real case of Chicago. The tremendous cold wave that Chicago suffered caused the autonomy of the batteries to be reduced and charging times to slow down. Therefore, many drivers experienced some technical problems, especially related to the charging infrastructure, mostly made up of Tesla superchargers. On the one hand, endless queues of electric cars are generated waiting for their turn to charge. On the other hand, those with a tighter autonomy are left without battery. They also can't turn off the car heating to save money while they wait if they don't want to freeze. In these unusual circumstances, the turtle mode that many electric vehicles have can do little to speed up a few kilometers when the autonomy reaches the dreaded 0%. In fact, many drivers have been forced to tow their cars after long hours of waiting to find an available outlet. You have to come here and wait at least two hours to access the charger, one of the affected drivers told NBC Chicago. There are those who have been left lying down for up to five hours. Although it is true that such low temperatures put electric vehicles and the infrastructure that powers them to the test, there are places where they operate, as Norway proves, more prepared and accustomed to this type of inclement weather. How do they do it? According to the Globe and Mail, the majority of electric drivers in the country charge at home so as not to depend on public charging points. This is a simple solution and at the same time allows the batteries to be preheated whenever possible to speed up charging. Measures to adopt. The loss of autonomy with temperature is greater than the official data of the vehicle manufacturer. The vehicle manufacturer usually provides the vehicle's range in kilometers for different temperatures. But as has been shown in different studies, the decrease in range is greater in reality than the WLTP cycle figures. Therefore, when purchasing an electric vehicle, you must consider that it has less autonomy than that provided by the manufacturer for any temperature range. To know the decrease in autonomy, you have to resort to different sources of information. Studies carried out like the previous ones developed. Experience with vehicle brands and models or batteries that we have in the fleet. Researching on the internet. Asking other vehicle fleets that have that vehicle model. The main problem is with low temperatures because we need much more energy to heat the cabin, precondition the battery before recharging, and the charging processes slow down than with high temperatures. If the fleet operates at low temperatures, the loss of autonomy must be taken into account when purchasing the vehicle because the vehicle may not have the necessary autonomy to provide service on the coldest days of the year. It must be taken into account that there are more and more heat and cold waves, and the vehicle may have the necessary autonomy for daily use every day of the year, but in a cold wave it may not, and it must be taken into account. Taken into account when purchasing the vehicle. Acquire the vehicle with a heat pump. The heat pump is the device with which the least autonomy is lost with high and low temperatures to air condition the passenger compartment. It is advisable to purchase the vehicle with a heat pump. There are vehicles that have it incorporated and in others it is an option. Preclimatize the cabin. All electric vehicles have a function that allows you to set a departure time or turn on the air conditioning remotely using an application. In this way, the cabin can be heated using energy from the charger instead of the battery. When the vehicle has finished providing the service and has been parked at our facilities, it is connected to the charger and programmed so that when it needs to be used again, it has the cabin at the appropriate temperature. In summer, the cabin is cool and we save between one kilowatt hours and two kilowatt hours of battery energy in cooling it, gaining about eight kilometers of autonomy. Heated steering wheel and seats. The use of the heated steering wheel and seats allows the driver and passengers to be heated locally without the need to use heating and reducing the amount of heat needed in the cabin. It is recommended that the vehicle have heated steering wheel and seats because these types of devices are offered as an equipment option. Precondition the battery for full charge from the first seconds. In summer, this action is not usually necessary, but in winter it is essential. It involves preparing the battery before starting charging to guarantee high charging power from the start. In most electric cars, this feature is activated when using the navigation system. 
If you have to recharge en route, the system will heat up the battery so that when it reaches the fast charging point, it is at temperature and charges to maximum from the first seconds. With low temperatures, it is most advisable to charge the electric vehicle when you arrive at our facilities, when the battery is still warm. Recharging point in our facilities. In a fleet of vehicles, charging points must be in our facilities. Public chargers cannot be depended on because they do not work or are being used by other vehicles. Its orientation must be taken into account and that it is well protected, especially if it is outdoors. Load the vehicle as much as the manufacturer recommends in the coldest months. Although it is not advisable to charge the battery more than 80% due to degradation, on some very cold days it is recommended to charge it to the maximum to have the maximum possible autonomy. Ventilate the cabin. The overheated interior of a car cools down sooner if it is ventilated with outside air than if the task is entrusted to the exclusive work of the air conditioning. In the case of an electric vehicle, there is a double reason to ventilate well. Each kilowatt hours of heat that we remove from the interior using outside air is equivalent to three times that figure in battery energy savings. Measures to adopt. Keep the cabin cold or warm when loaded. During fast charging while traveling, keep the cabin cool or warm with power from the charger. You can leave the air conditioning on or turn the air conditioning on full blast for a bit before unplugging the car. In this way, the power consumption will not affect the battery power. Acquire a vehicle of a light color with little glass surface and a light interior. Dark cars get harder, both parked and in circulation. The large windows allow large amounts of heat to enter through conduction, and the inside of the glass is hot through radiation, which increases the work of the air conditioner. If available, purchase double laminated windows, also known as acoustic comfort windows, because they also improve thermal insulation. Choose tinted rear windows or install sun protection films on the rear windows. Avoid having a sunroof, and if you have one, close the sunroof curtain or visor. This will create an insulating air pocket between the roof glass and the passenger compartment, and will slow down the entry of heat. Choose a vehicle with a heat insulating windshield and glass roof. Aware of the importance of insulation, more and more manufacturers are installing windshields and glass roofs with treatments that reflect infrared. They are easy to distinguish by a golden or even iridescent hue. These glasses improve passenger comfort and reduce heat entry into the cabin, making them opaque to infrared. Unfortunately, those sheets of glass still act as large radiators so it's best not to have glass roofs and large windshields. Avoid the middle hours of the day. Unlike in winter, where most of the heat escapes from the car by conduction, in summer the main heat input is solar radiation. Therefore the key is to use the vehicle with low outside temperatures, avoiding moments of maximum sunshine. At the worst times, sunshine reaches 2 kilowatts per square meter, and a vehicle is 8 square meters. Much of that energy is reflected or does not reach the interior, but the rest has to be removed by the air conditioner. Use the eco mode of the vehicle or the air conditioning. Aware of the impact that heat has on autonomy, cars have both general and specific energy consumption reduction modes for the air conditioning. These modes reduce the energy consumption of the compressor in exchange for giving up a little comfort in the cabin and can be an acceptable intermediate option between driving in the heat or losing up to 50 kilometers of autonomy. Select the driver only position. Another solution that more and more manufacturers are applying is to provide the air conditioning with a driver only function, which blocks the air outlet for the front passenger and the rear seats. In this way, it is possible to generate a small cool microclimate around the passenger without the need to cool the entire cabin. Regulate a higher temperature in the air conditioner. Setting a higher temperature in the passenger compartment is a maneuver equivalent to taking your foot off the accelerator. The higher the temperature, the lower the energy consumption by the compressor. Purchase a vehicle with a larger battery. Increasing the size of the battery has a double beneficial effect. The first and obvious one is that autonomy usually increases, and the second is that the relative impact of air conditioning is reduced. Acquire an electric vehicle designed as electric. The thermal insulation requirements in a fossil fuel vehicle are not very demanding. 
With a combustion engine, heating comes as standard, while the cooling system only has to play a good role during the homologation test, which is carried out in very light conditions. An electric vehicle has stricter thermal insulation requirements than a fossil fuel vehicle because the air conditioning should have an almost imperceptible impact on the range. Thermal insulation and air conditioning are important when purchasing an electric vehicle that has been adapted or transformed from a fossil fuel vehicle due to the loss of autonomy because there are companies that carry out these transformations. Choose the appropriate charging stations in summer. Try to opt for protected charging stations or charging points located in underground parking lots to favor shady charging stations.